Hello, welcome everyone. Thanks once again for joining us for today's webinar. We are proud to say that this webinar is true international since we could find attendees from different parts of globe. I am Venkatesh, today's moderator for this webinar. I am also known as Venki to this large label and packaging fraternity. As many of you are aware, Printronics is the leading solution provider for labels and packaging printing segment. And we are also official partner for Systech, the pioneer in automated flexoplate mounting system in India, Sri Lanka, UAE, and neighboring countries. Today, we are presenting an automated flexoplate mounting system for narrow web, wide web, and corrugated segment. Let me introduce today's panelists for this webinar. Massimo is, the, is a co-founder of Systech and responsible for worldwide sales Massimo has sold more than 500 plus Systech machine worldwide and is responsible for new developments in Systech. Our next panelist is Daisu K, is a software engineer for Systech and is responsible for R&D and IT segment in Systech. Daisu K has a credit of developing a new neural link technology for the automatic plate mounting on the Systech automatic plate mounter. Little bit of housekeeping before we start this webinar. If you have any questions during the presentation, please type them in a question box. The same will be taken up after the presentation. Please note the audio and video of attendees will be disabled throughout the session. Now, without further delay, we'll turn the time over to Massimo. May I request Massimo, please start the session. Good afternoon, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Venki, for introducing me, and thank you all for attending this event. I thank you, Venki, for the opportunity that is very important for us to uh, be able to share our technology and to share uh, our products. I would like to share with you a brief presentation about the technology of the plate mounting that we have developed, and I believe that we can give some very interesting answer to the market. Well, just a few words about our company. Systech Converting is the uh, converting a flexible packaging brand of STI. It is a, a Swiss company based in Chiasso. Our company started a, a business in 1994 and uh, uh, in, the, in few years, we became uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, player in the market for the manufacturing of flexo plate mounting systems. Uh, this year is very important for us. It's a, a very important anniversary. We are now celebrating the 20 years uh, anniversary uh, from the beginning of uh, the business in the converting market. And uh, in this uh, 20 year long adventure, we have delivered something like uh, 1000 plate mounting machines worldwide. And uh, uh, we have uh, built a network of uh, uh, 30 agents uh, in uh, all the continents. The mission of our company is to support the customer in the whole production cycle, uh, becoming a 360 degrees for all the needs in the flexo printing. Uh, we started from the mounting, but now we are uh, supporting customers also with uh, a lot of, of, of our ancillary machines like the mounting machines, uh, sleeves storages and uh, mounting tape applicators. This is a brief uh, uh, description of the range of products that we are uh, able to, sub, uh, to, uh, to offer to customers. Uh, on the left side, you see the family of the plate mounting machines that is divided into the main segments of product. We can uh, offer machines for the narrow web market. Uh, narrow web and label market is uh, uh, for machine. This designed for printing with uh, uh, under 1,000 millimeter width. Uh, then the wide web flexo printing uh, over 1,000 millimeter and the corrugated market. Uh, on the right side of the of the page, uh, even if it is not the subject of the today's presentation, you may see the uh, the other ancillary products that we are offering. That is the demounting machines. Uh, the laser anti-locks cleaner and the sleeves storages. 
as I, to, as I, I, I told, is not the subject of this presentation, but it's important that you aware that we can offer uh, broad uh, of products for the Flexo. The, the technology is, uh, uh, the quality of the technology is the core of our products. Uh, at the base of our mountains, there are uh, the stunning digital cameras that we are using. And also on the basic uh, machine, we offer uh, high definition digital cameras with, that are giving the ability of a very high magnification of the image, uh, more than 100 uh, level of magnification. Uh, this is giving uh, really stunning sharp images and uh, great details of uh, also the smallest uh, uh, cross marks or micro dots. The plate mounting, uh, let me spend some word about this. Uh, the plate mounting process is uh, crucial for the quality of the flexo printing. Uh, since the register, the quality of the register is depending by the quality on the market of the, of the mounting. Uh, the technical associations are giving uh, the suggestion uh, um, indication about the quality of the register and uh, it, is, uh, uh, it is considered a good mounting if it is uh, uh, below the 50 microns. Our technology is giving the ability to uh, perform a perfect mounting since, uh, since the dimension of each pixel on the video is less than 7 microns, so it's uh, absolutely uh, easy to immediately understand if you are inside the tolerance or uh, outside the tolerance of the quality of the register. There are several technologies for the plate mounting. Uh, we can divide them in the two big families, the standard mounting process and the uh, automatic mounting process that uh, has been uh, uh, brought to the market in the last years. The standard mounting process is uh, uh, shown in the uh, top picture that you see that the operator must take the plate and uh, mount the plate according to the position of the cameras. So the accuracy of the mounting is depending only on the skill of the operator. Uh, the, despite the automatic mounting process is uh, managed, digitally managed by the uh, computer so that the electronics is uh, uh, the electronic is uh, uh, checking the image and automatically detecting the register marks. And uh, 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 the software is uh, uh, adjusting automatically and digitally the position of the plate according to the feedback coming from the cameras. Uh, in this uh, process, uh, uh, the uh, operator is not uh, affecting the quality of the mounting that is uh, managed by the machine in a digital way. Uh, the automatic uh, mounting technology is uh, uh, a smart process and uh, uh, we develop a new technology that we uh, is based on the neural link technology uh, developed by my colleague Daisuke and uh, uh, the machine is automatically detecting the marking crosses as soon as the plate is exposed to the cameras. The cameras are recognizing the plate, the crosses, and are giving the feedback to the eye table that you see in the picture below. Uh, that is the smart core of the machine. This is an automated table uh, where the uh, a vacuum blower is holding fixed the plate and is adjusting the plate into the target position according to the information coming from the software and from the cameras. There are a lot of advantages coming along with the automatic mounting. Uh, here you may see a brief list, but it's uh, immediately understandable that uh, uh, there is a reduction in the time and a constance in uh, the mounting so that uh, uh, the job repeatability uh, becomes at the highest level. Uh, the mounting precision is digitally assessed by the machine, so it, uh, it is really less 0.01 millimeter. That is the mechanical precision of the uh, mechanical devices on the machine. So, and this is uh, repeatable 20 of 24 hours, seven days a week, not like a human operator who is, of course, affected by a lot of different uh, situations. The machine works with the same performances every day of the year. Uh, now I would like to, uh, to make a, a brief overview uh, 
among our uh, offer, uh, among our mounters, uh, you may see this is the family of the narrow uh, of the narrow web uh, plate mounters. And uh, you may see that we have uh, uh, two kinds of, of uh, uh, machines, standard machines and automatic machine. Uh, the difference, as I, as I told, is uh, exactly in the technology. The standard machine, the operator has to place the plate in register by himself. In the automatic machine, the mounting will be done by the machine. Uh, the standard uh, machines that we can offer for the narrow web mounter are the narrow, what we call narrow is a tabletop mounter designed for uh, narrow cylinders or sleeves uh, up to 500 millimeters working width. And then there is the MIDI version. The MIDI version is uh, the, narrow, the, the narrow mounter, but with a floor structure, a self-standing structure. Uh, that is uh, uh, given the ability to work also with the wider cylinders uh, uh, up to 1000 millimeters since uh, uh, the more sturdy structure of the machine. The MIDI mounter has evolved into the MIDI eye table that is the automatic mounter that we, uh, that we will demonstrate later. As I, as I said, in this machine, uh, the mounting is uh, performed by the machine automatically. These are the plate mounters for the wide web. This is the offer for the wide web. And you can see that even here, we have two families of products, the standard machines and the automatic ones. The standard mounters are starting with the basic machine that is the Star VP. The new Star VP is a said a, a so-called basic machine, but it is absolutely not a basic mounter, but it is equipped with a, a lot of features. Uh, so also with the level, the level of the entry machine is absolutely high. It is a completely motorized machine with manual control of the motors. And uh, this, uh, it is equipped with a software uh, giving the mounting assistance. The feedback of the automatic mounter is uh, available here. Uh, the, pl the plate is positioned by the operator, but with the feedback of the software that will give the operator the feedback he's, if uh, he has to adjust the position of the plate from left to right, the difference, and so on. So it is uh, uh, everything but uh, a simple mount. It is a very complete one. Uh, the evolution of the Star VP is the Star Evo that is uh, uh, motorized, but with full uh, electronic control. This means that uh, each axis of the machine is equipped with uh, uh, encoders for uh, memorizing, uh, saving the position, uh, creating jobs, uh, load the jobs in the time. Uh, so it is uh, a, a fully motorized and electronic uh, and electronically controlled uh, standard mounter. Then we can uh, uh, shift to the uh, automatic family of uh, plate mounters. You will see the star eye table is uh, an automatic machine uh, where the eye table is the core of the system. So the cameras will uh, automatically detect it across of the plate and will adjust the position of the plate, moving automatically the eye table. Then the step above is the full automatic mounter. What the mainly the difference is uh, the uh, machine with the eye table plus a robotic loader. This machine is what we call T, the D mounter. D is a, a, an acronym of total human Exc exclusion mounter. In this machine, there is no human interaction at all since the plates are uh, uh, loaded in a stack on the loader and then the mounter is uh, bringing. Uh, the, the, the robot is bringing the plate uh, a plate at time into the machine and the machine will automatically mount it. So without any kind of human, uh, human uh, interaction. Finally, we uh, offer a machine for the corrugated mounting. The corrugated mounter, you, you know, maybe in a pre or post configuration, it depends of kind of uh, printing that uh, the, the, the company makes. On this machine is uh, provided the automatic plate recognition in combination with the PDF mounting. This means that the operator can load a PDF or a reprofile and uh, uh, the operator can uh, uh, operate an overlay, an over imposition of the plate onto the PDF file and the machine is performing the recognition of the crosses and uh, uh, 
helping the operator to make a, a perfect alignment of the plate. The machine is a completely servo technology with a, a automat a automatic uh, servo direct motors to manage the rotation of the drums and to manage also the elongation of the plate automatically. And uh, it's absolutely a, a stunning machine. It's uh, something really incredible. Uh, before entering into the demo, I would like to, to, uh, to talk about a couple of projects that uh, we have already started. The, what we say, what is the future? Because, of course, we have introduced the automatic mounters in the, in the last years, uh, but we are not stopped, uh, despite we are going on developing and uh, uh, research a new solution. For example, we have introduced into, uh, on, uh, on all our machines, uh, and this is reality now, it's not future. Um, we have introduced the augmented reality support service. You can see a couple of pictures in the side. Uh, what is? Uh, it's uh, a, a service where the operator using a mobile device can stream the image of the machine and receive live support directly on the, on the, stre on the uh, streamed video. Uh, we can uh, uh, impose uh, uh, arrows uh, or other signs uh, just to help exactly the operator to press the right button or to manage the right device or to make the right uh, mechanical adjustment of the machine so that we can give a real time on site definitely a support service. And this is a, a service, a free service for all our customers. And it is already operative. Uh, the second process that we have already started, we are uh, introducing our company into the uh, digital printing market. We are developing a new press for uh, paperbacks uh, that will uh, be, we will give the ability to print uh, up to 45 meters per minute. And uh, uh, with a, with, so with the purpose of uh, make a personalization of the uh, bags, and uh, also for other device, uh, other uh, packaging for uh, also for food. So this uh, this machine will be available in the first quarter of uh, the next year. Now I would like to enter into the core of uh, this webinar, that is the demonstration of the machine. You will uh, uh, now have the opportunity to see a brief demonstration of the new MIDI eye table automatic mounter is the brand new mounter coming from our company, is designed for the narrow web and the mid web uh, print, flexo print. Um, so it is designed to perform with any kind of label press, even for sleeves, solid cylinders, shafted cylinders, shaftless cylinders. Uh, of course, with a different mechanical configuration of the machine. Uh, the machine that you will see in the demo is a machine designed for sleeves. And of course, the sleeve machine is also designed to work with the compact CI presses. Uh, you know that uh, all the press manufacturer has launched in the last years uh, some com compact version of the CI uh, presses since the uh, runs are getting shorter and uh, machines need to be operated by a single operator and so on. So this mounter, this automatic mounter is uh, designed to perform with the new compact presses and it's a really a stunning device that you, I'm really proud to, uh, to introduce now. Okay, let's start the uh, demonstration of the machine. This is the overview of the machine. You see the mechanical structure for sleeves with the, the cantilever position of the air sleeve, air, air, air mandrel. Machine is equipped with uh, uh, Siemens electronics. And you see the tape application.
now now we are going to start the uh, the mounting process this is the sleeve changeover operation the mount is performed by my colleague Daisuke this is the insertion of the new sleeve and then the right side of the machine is lifted again Okay, this is the beginning of the automatic mounting operation. That starts with the extraction of the front table. The back table automatically comes close to the sleeve. Then simply the operator takes the plate and position the plate on the table. Then starts the job on the screen. And as soon as the crosses are coming in the area of the, of the camera, they will be automatically detected. You will see they have been locked by the machine. Locked and chased. And now the machine starts the automatic al alignment. You will see that the plate is moving to the target positioning. When the plate is in the right position, you will see that the, the yellow mark becomes uh, gray, uh, green. Okay, when the plate is positioned, it is sticked on the sleeve, and then the machine is starting the automatic sticking with the, the, the automatic nip roller. The tables are automatically disengaged. And then the machine is performing the swinging, swinging movement to stick the plate smoothly on all the repeat. Now we are entering into the uh, check of the register. You will see the side band, the control band of the plate. You know that uh, mainly the narrow web market, they must perfectly join. And you will see that the plate is perfectly straight on the repeat without inter interaction of the operator. Perfect. The operation took uh, less than three minutes. Thank you everybody for the attention in the demo. Now I believe we can enter into the question and answer session. Uh, thank you, Massimo. Uh, now we will take some time for questions. Just a reminder to all attendees, please be sure to type your questions and we'll try to address maximum question. Uh, Massimo, we have the first question from a gentleman called Imran. Is it possible to retrofit the I table on existing mounter of wide, wide web machine? For example, VPHT. Okay, thank you, Imran. It's uh, nice to see you in the webinar. 
yes, it's possible, uh, even if uh, the, uh, the retrofit is uh, quite deep into the mechanics. Uh, I give you a brief uh, uh, explanation about this. Uh, since uh, uh, the last year, our machine were equipped with autofocus cameras. The autofocus technologies are giving uh, the ability to uh, catch the focus uh, of all the repeat without moving the cameras or the mandrel. Now we have switched to the HD technology. The HD technology requires the mandrel to move to, to be lift up down to match the repeat. Uh, technically, it's possible to install the eye table on the existing mounters, but we need also to retrofit the, cameras, the camera uh, compartment of the machine, replacing, replacing the camera bar. But yes, the answer is yes, it's possible to retrofit. Great. Uh, Massimo, Mr. Sai Baba would like to know, you have shown me sleeve type, how about gear type cylinders? Yes, of 36 inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I just ask a few seconds to find, for example, the picture of uh, an existing machine uh, designed for cylinders. Uh, you will immediately recognize that the machine is exactly the twin of the machine that you have seen right now in the demo but with a different mechanics in the lower part of the machine, since the compartment of the air sleeves is replaced with the proper mechanics to hold cylinders. Uh, and uh, uh, I let you see a picture, just allow me a few seconds to find, it, to find one. In the meanwhile, we can go on with some other questions. Okay. Now, uh, there is another question is, how about software update at existing machine? Yes, uh, this is a question that, uh, that is more or less related to the first uh, question that uh, uh, was given by Imran. Um, uh, well, it is possible, of course, to retrofit the software. Surely it, it is necessary to update the system to the latest version of the operative system. So. Uh, Windows 10 at least, and uh, uh, you see that uh, uh, along with the retrofit of the mechanics uh, is necessary to make a full retrofit of the uh, entire compartment of the software and the environment system, so replacing the PC. But anyway, it is absolutely possible. But uh, it, it, is it for a specific machine or it is possible in for all the machine? It is possible for all the machine, but it will uh, it will be necessary to uh, update mm -hmm. uh, completely the uh, the computer, the replacement of the computer. In the meanwhile, I am ready to show you a picture of a 36 inches machine. Let me share the screen again. Okay. Oops, sorry. Do you see the image? No, you can see your Facebook uh, WhatsApp thing. Do no, 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 it? it's wrong. I think I have that image. I can I can share it with Mr. Baba. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. It's okay now. Okay. Now you see that this machine is exactly the same in the mechanical structure and in the upper part of the machine, but the uh, the other the this this part of the machine the mechanics is uh, you see like this. This mechanics is designed. For supporting, this is a 36 in inches centimeter uh, repeat uh, cylinder. You will see that the side disc, and this is the gearing of the cylinder. Of course, the mechanics is designed is completely different. It's designed to support cylinders instead of sleeves. Okay. Uh, Massimo, they would like uh, Mr. Bimrao Wankade would like to know if this system is compatible with the Bob's GPS mounter. Uh, 
Well, it, it's different since uh, the GPS has a different purpose. This is the inspection of the whole surface of the plate. Mm -hmm. You know that the GPS system is provided with a sensor that is uh, reading with a, a roll, something like a roll, is reading the surface, creating a topography diagram of the sleeve. Our machine is not designed to give a topography of the sleeve. We uh, design our software to give a perfect register uh, of the plates. So we are not taking care like the, uh, like the GPS system of the topography of the TIR of the sleeve, but only of the register. We are on a different level of job. We are concentrating on the register. Okay. There's another question from uh, Ishwar Tomar. Is it machine available for shaft type cylinder? I think we have answered yes, it is available. We have exactly. a sleeve type shaft and shaftless cylinders. There's exactly. a question from Mr. Yusuf. Can we also check the quality of the plate and specialty if the plate is being remounted? For example, if the plate is damaged, can the system find? Um, well, uh... At the moment, at the moment, the machine doesn't make uh, doesn't make a compare on the plate, but we are working on a new tool that is coming from the corrugated market, where the operator will use the PDF, will import the PDF into the machine, and the machine actually it is possible right now. It is already possible to import the PDF, but it's uh, uh, um, a task of the operator to match. The, the, the drawing on the PDF uh, mm -hmm. uh, with the real plate on the machine. Um, what we are going to do is uh, uh, to develop a tool to make an automatically matching uh, between the theoretical PDF elements and the real plate. At the moment, we are not ready, but it will be ready in the next year. And uh, it is, uh, as I said, a technology coming from the corrugated mounting technology. Okay. And uh, there's another question asking how to load cylinder in this machine. How to load cylinder in the machine? Okay, it depends. Uh, it dep depends from the cylinder. If we are talking as a, a of a standard cylinder, uh, like uh, something like 15, 20 inches, uh, is absolutely very easy since you have the ball bearing supports. So it is very easy to lay down the roller on the on the on the bearings or on the proper frames supporting the the side. Uh, mm. Uh, despite if you are using uh, a very heavy cylinder, you will need to use uh, some forklift and uh, or crane definitely and uh, to lay uh, in, in an accurate way uh, the, to lay the down the plate on the, the, the roller, sorry, on the proper bearings. Considering that the top of the machine is not accessible since there are the cameras that are working in perpendicular on the cylinder. Uh, I can tell you that for, uh, for example, for some Windmuller and the whole share customer uh, who was printing with very, very heavy cylinders, uh, something like 400 kilograms, we made uh, an, uh, how to say, a sliding mechanics, uh, a sliding nut that was receiving the cylinder outside the machine and then was bringing the machine, the cylinder inside the mounting position. Uh, this was designed for the uh, wide web market. In case of specific needs by the customer, we can develop some, some custom, uh, customized solution. Great. And uh, as it becomes standard to mount staggered plates on automatic plate, that is the mounter. You understand the question? Yes, I understand the question. Uh, uh, to mount the stagger plates, uh, we have to know uh, since the beginning the uh, kind of plates that uh, usually the customers is requiring. Since usually the stagger plates uh, are uh, composed by different plates that, that, that are put in a stagger position. Some customers uh, in the in recent times uh, are beginning to use uh, some plates that are a unique piece already engraved in stagger position. It is possible to mount uh, uh, with uh, the automatic, but we have to know in the beginning, since the, the, uh, the dimension and the shape of the hand of the robotic loader must be properly designed to manage this kind of plate. 
since this kind of plate can reach also 1.5, also more, also two meters of repeat length, since mm. the different staggering are merging each other, so the, the plate becomes very long. Okay. Uh, is it, uh, can you ask Daisuko to just go to the close to the machine so that uh, I think that we have one more question. Yeah. Uh, okay. 36 sure. inches by uh, 530 cylinder is very heavy. Any solution for loading? 36 inches repeat length and 530 width. A cylinder is very heavy. Any solution for loading? Any solution for loading? Uh, yes, not. Uh, you cannot see this kind of solution on the uh, machine that is on show since it is a machine for sleeves. So, so completely different uh, mechanics. As I said, uh, for the uh, 36 uh, inches uh, uh, machine, let me see if I can uh, let you see the picture. Just a second. Okay, I'm going to share the image. If the machine is not provided with an automatic extracting nut device, uh, the, uh, it is necessary to use a crane, like in the picture that you see. Here we are lifting a 36 inches uh, a roller, something like seven, uh, uh, 70 kilograms, more or less. And you see that this mainly has to be a, a manual operation. So the operator has to lift with the crane the cylinder and put into delicately on the support on the side. Okay. Uh, can I ask Daisuko to just to go to the machine and so that uh, people can, I think attendees can see the machine of it. Okay. Looks. Daisuke, please, if you can go close to the machine and uh, you can uh, show uh, a brief demo of the mounting. Okay. Maybe, Venki, you can pin. Okay, perfect. Uh, last one. Did you see me? Okay. Yes, perfect. We see you perfectly. Okay, perfect. I want to show how we intend by automatically motor recognition. In a standard machine, to permit the machine to recognize the marker, operator should execute some steps to record the marker to the machine. We delegate this operation to AI that automatically recognize the marker. I show you how. Operator should put the marker under the camera. The machine automatically recognize the marker. I show you how Precision is the marker. As you can see, he finds the center perfectly. Now, I show you how to align the mark in automatic. We should launch the program and align. Only these two steps, and the machine starts to align the marker to the center of the screen. I come here with Kana to show you the details. Yeah, perfect. And this is automatically performed by the, by the machine. Perfect. Okay, thank you. I Very good. You. Okay. Uh, any more question?
Okay. I want to know how manual operations can define the master on the OR software. We have an automatic and a manual mode. We force the manual mode. Just draw a shape, a square shape, and the system can automatically detect the mark. I try to move manually as you can see the system following the perfect the marker. In this situation, I should just line the alignment, alignment, and the machine will automatically put again this marker to the center. Okay, I come near with the camera. Okay. So the machine is aligning. Perfect. At the center of the camera. Very good, Ashuka. Thank you so much. Okay, exactly. Uh, looks like uh, we have covered all questions. Uh, Massimo, okay. is anything else you want to cover before wrap up? Uh, no, I'm fine. I really thank you so much, uh, everybody attending the everyone attending this webinar for uh, the time that they have to de dedicated to us. We really appreciate it. Uh, I thank you, Venki and Preconics staff, for the opportunity that you are giving to us. We are really proud of uh, cooperating with you, and we are looking forward to grow even more in uh, Asian markets that are really the future for the Flexo. Okay, thanks, Massimo and team, once again. Great, thank you, everyone. We appreciate you taking time off and being here. If you still any if you still have any clarification, please mail us to Venki at PrintronicsIndia.in. Thank you. Thanks a lot once again. Thank Bye. you so much. Thanks. Bye.